Okay, fix the Anaconda installation. Um, so what is this all about? Well, it turns out, and I have just recently learned about that myself, that the Anaconda version, which is version number 2022.05, um, which should be the one that you have just downloaded uh, from their website, um, has a um, Spider IDE um, version 5.1.5, which has a critical bug. So it is a version that unfortunately uh, crashes um, under certain um, instances. And uh, we, we definitely need to fix this in order to make it work. Um, so after you have downloaded and installed the Anaconda distribution, as um, shown in the introduction video for this course, uh, please follow um, these eight steps that are outlined here. And I'm going to do this um, with you in this video, um, just to um, make sure that you can all fix um, your own Anaconda installation on your own uh, notebooks. Okay, so uh, let me first show you um, um, what the issue is. So this is my um, spider, which I have just um, installed using Anaconda. And I can check the version number by going to help and then clicking on about spider. And as you can see here, this is version 5.1.5. And um, yeah, so here is our um, editor where we will type our computer programs. And down here is the... Um, IPython console. So IPython stands for interactive Python, um, which means that we can directly type Python commands down here and execute them uh, right away. And if you type input, which is one of Python's inbuilt functions um, that takes a user input from the keyboard, uh, if you just type input um, brackets, open brackets, close, and you hit enter, then um, Spider will crash. You get this issue report here saying that Spider has encountered an internal problem. Okay. And um, we could now um, report this to the uh, Spider development team, but um, they actually are already aware of this. This issue has been fixed. It's just that the Anaconda distribution comes with uh, an older version of Spider um, that still has this particular problem. So I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to interrupt Spider by clicking on this red square here. So this red square on the console always allows you to interrupt any um, Python scripts that are currently running. So I'm going to interrupt this and then close Spider by closing this the window here. Right, so we have already made sure that Spider is closed. Now we are going to go through this list of uh, simple steps that we need to do in order to fix our um, Spider installation. So the first thing I will do is I will use uh, the Windows search bar. Let me just go out of this presentation here. I will use uh, the Windows search bar and type Anaconda prompt on here. And this will bring up this app here, which is called Anaconda prompt, and I will click on it to open it. Okay, so here we go. This is the Anaconda prompt. I can uh, increase the font size a little bit so you can see this clearly um, while watching this video. So hopefully this is big enough. So this Anaconda prompt allows us to uh, input commands that will modify the Anaconda and Spider installation. Okay, And there are just a few steps that we need to take. The first thing that we will do is we will update the overall Anaconda distribution by typing Honda c-o-n-d-a space update anaconda okay just make sure that you don't have any typos there it needs to be written exactly as you can see it here on the screen conda update anaconda and then i will hit enter on my computer and what it's doing now is it's basically connecting to the to the internet and it's checking for the latest versions of all the packages that are contained in the Anaconda distribution. And it will then ask for our permission to download these and install them on our system. Now, this is a process that can take quite a while. Um, it can take up to, this whole procedure will take up to one hour. Um, so what I will do is in between, I will speed up this video. Right? So don't worry if on your machine, it looks like um, the console has um, stalled or is not doing anything. Um, it can really take quite some time. So just be patient and let it do its job until it is completed. I'm going to speed up this video so you don't need to um, watch me getting bored here. 
Okay, so I now have this long list of packages um, showing up here on the console, and I just want to go ahead and update them all in one go. And you can see it um, asks me to enter the letter Y in order to proceed. So I'm just going to type Y and hit enter again, and it will then continue downloading these packages, extract them, and install them on our computer. Um, this can take up to 20 minutes or so. So again, I'm going to speed up this video in the meantime. Okay, so my command prompt is active again. You can see here that I have um, um, been returning to the user prompt. Um, this took about um, 20 minutes for me to complete. So just be patient and wait until everything is completed. In particular, um, it is confusing that um, you will read done here on the command line, but it will still take another five minutes or so until you get back to the user prompt like that. So now we can um, follow the next steps. We are now going to remove the current spider installation we have on our system by typing conda remove spider. Okay, so that's C-O-N-D-A space remove space spider with Y. And just gonna press enter here. And I'm gonna speed up the video again. Okay, this took another almost 20 minutes for me, so one really needs to stay patient when doing this, but I'm now back to the um, command prompt here. I can type in the final command, which is um, to install spider. So I'm gonna do conda install spider. Okay, so we have removed spider, now we are going to install it, and this will then be the latest available version. And once again, we are asked uh, to confirm um, that we want to proceed with the installation. So again, just type Y here and press enter. Okay, and with this, um, we are done. I'm back to the command prompt. We have completed the new installation of Spider. And if everything um, has gone as planned, we should not be able to restart Spider. As usual, we just type Spider in the search bar. Click here. Okay, um, still says version 5, but what is really important is um, what subversion it is. We're going to check this immediately now. Going to go to help about spider. And now you see here that um, we have spider version 5.3.3. It used to be 5.1.5 before we did all this updating. 
Now we are um, at version 5.3.3. The overall process took about 50 minutes to complete. Um, and hopefully now we can just type input here, um, opening bracket, closing bracket, hit enter. And you see there is no um, crash report or something like this. We are now at the input prompt. So we are now able to enter anything we like um, with our keyboard and hit enter without any, any issues arising. So this is um, how we update the Spider installation. Please follow this procedure on your own computers. And um, we will need to see um, early next week whether this issue uh, can be fixed in time for the computing labs. I hope so. Um, if not, I will talk about some of the alternatives we have during our first review session on Monday. Thanks very much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you um, very shortly.